Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back, and if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is great for beginners because I'm going to show you how I do everything completely from start to finish. Starting with a 20 ounce skinny tumbler that I got from the Stainless Depot, and I'm taking a 220 grit piece of sandpaper, and I'm just going to sand it down really good so that I rough it up and scuff it, and then I'm going to take some Dawn dish soap, and I'm just going to clean it off really good, and then I'm going to towel dry it so it's completely dry for the spray paint. And I've decided that I'm going to do a two color horizontal split with the glitter, so I'm just going to... Um, take my tape and measure it off and then I'm going to take my painter's tape and tape it around and get it ready for the spray paint. Go ahead and tape off the entire bottom half so that none of the purple spray paint gets where I'm going to have it white. A shield over the tumbler that I got from Cami Page Boutique. It just makes it so that I won't get spray paint inside the tumbler. And if you're interested in getting something from Cami Page, I do have a discount code. It is LBC10 for you to get 10% off. And I'm going to be taking Color Shots Aromatherapy. It's just a really pretty light purple, and it's going to be great to go with the glitter that I'm using. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray this and then leave it outside to dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to take the, the painter's tape off and I'm going to keep it and I'm just going to use it and flip it and cover the purple section next and then spray paint the bottom with just regular Rust-Oleum's white spray paint. If you haven't done so yet, come check out my Facebook group, my Lily Bean Crafters community, where we get together and we talk and show off some of the different products that we're working on. I will go ahead and link it in the description. Once I have this spray painted, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry in my garage for about a half an hour. And then I'm going to bring it into my glitter room. And I am taking Crystalax glitter glue and a little brush that I got from the dollar store. And I'm just going to go ahead and give that a nice coat on there. And then I'm going to be using Peachy Olive Glitters Opal Majesty for the bottom portion. And then I'm going to immediately take off the painter's tape that I have on the top and I'm going to go ahead and put the glitter glue on the top portion and I'm going to be using Chase Ray's Lavish, another really pretty purple glitter that's going to match the spray paint that I did. Now, if you're brand new at doing tumblers and you want to let the bottom portion dry before you go in and do this, feel free to do that. I've been doing this for a long time, so I felt comfortable going in and putting the glitter glue just right up to the raw glitter that hasn't dried yet on the white. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that other glitter coat in the purple. to take a pair of scissors and just very gently um, hit it up against the edge there so that I can take off any extra glitter that does not need to stay on the tumbler. And then I'm going to go in about three hours later with another coat of the Crystalax glitter glue and I'm going to fully cover starting with the bottom, starting with the white because I don't want to get any purple into the white, but the purple does have an opalescence about it so I can go and then go right from the white and then start applying the glue to the purple and not having to worry about any contamination. And I just wanted to show you how I mixed my epoxy together. So I am taking the Flint Sisters Facet Epoxy, and I got these little honey jars 
on Amazon. It just makes it easier for me to apply small amounts into the cups. And I'm gonna do a total of 25 mLs. So 12 and a half mLs of the part A and 12 and a half mLs of the part B. And I'm gonna mix it together and I'm going to stir it for about three minutes and make sure that it's all mixed together. Make sure there's no striation lines that are in there so that I know that the epoxy is completely mixed up. I'm using one of my spinners that I got from Amazon a couple of years ago. I think I paid like $25 or $30 for it. I'll go ahead and link that in the description for you. And I'm just going to go in with my fast set epoxy and coat it really well. And then I'm going to go in with my torch and torch any bubbles on it and let it spin for about two and a half, three hours. And then I'm going to go in with a second coat of about 15 mLs of the fast set epoxy and let that go for three hours. my torch I just quickly swipe over it around one rotation to make sure that I get all the bubbles and I'll go ahead and link this torch in my description as well got the vinyl the decal and all the elements that I'm using today from gracefully created I bought this bundle a couple of months ago and I'll go ahead and I'll also link that all in the description for you and I'm just going to kind of show you how I go through the process of applying everything it's removable vinyl, so if you need to pick it up and move it, you can very carefully peel it off. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the decal first. And the different size stripes that I'm gonna be using was a 12 by 12 vinyl sheet that I got from them. It's a semi-transparent, so where you see the white, it is actually clear. And I wanted to do something a little bit different to cut off the break in the two different color glitters. So I thought this would be something that would be a little bit different and fun. Here I'm gonna cut just a little bit of the backing off just to give me a place to be able to set it down to make sure that it's all gonna line up with it being striped. You wanna try to get it as close as possible. I am gonna be covering it with a floral element so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I wanted it to be close. I'm just gonna go ahead and gently apply it all around the tumbler, taking my time and making sure that there's no bubbles in it. This is about the point in time when I realized that my blade was a little bit dull. When you can't get your vinyl to cut, it's time to change your blade. So luckily I had another um, X-Acto knife right there and I went ahead and trimmed off the edges. I'm just kind of placing the floral elements all around the tumbler. Once again, it is removable, so if I don't like the way that it looks, I can go ahead and switch it up, and I actually wound up doing that. You just wanna be very careful when you're peeling it off or applying it because the clear part can get fingerprints on it and you don't want that to show through.
wind up taking a couple of the different floral elements off. I had a couple of little bubble spots that I wanted to sand down and then I didn't want to apply it back onto where the scratches were because I didn't want it to show through. So I just kept it off until after my next coat of epoxy. And I'm also taking off this big floral element because you could see the ridges from the other vinyl that was underneath it. So I decided to pull that off until after a coat of epoxy as well. Learn that I never regret it when I take the extra steps and take a little bit of extra time to make sure that everything is done right. I usually regret it when I wind up saying, ah, no, it won't be that big of a deal. So I'm going in with 15 mLs of the Facet Epoxy. I, like I said, I just want to make it all nice and clear and have no bumps on it or anything like that for me to finish off the rest of the elements. I'm going to let this dry for about three to four hours and go back in and finish putting all of the elements on there. And here's where I'm just kind of going in and reapplying everything. And I found another element sheet that I had when I got the bundle and it's these really cute little hearts that go with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of those to it as well. Now that I have all of the little pieces of vinyl that I want to put on the tumbler, I'm going to go ahead and clean the rim. And I am going to um, take my little knife, my little X-Acto knife with a fresh um, blade on there. And I'm going to go and trim up around the edges here and clean all that up. And then I'm going to take my 220 grit sandpaper and I'm also going to sand that down. And then I'll go ahead and wash all in there and make sure that I have that all cleaned up. Now I'm going in with another 15 mLs of my facet epoxy and I'm gonna let this spin for about three to four hours until it's dry. Once it's all dry, I'm gonna go and take my 220 grit sanding paper and I'm just gonna sand it down gently over the entire tumbler and then I'm gonna check it for any places that might have a little bit of um, bubbles or any extra texture that needs a little bit of extra help. And then I'm gonna take my Dawn dish soap and rinse it off and dry it really good and get it ready for its final coats of Flynn Sisters epoxy. I'm gonna go in with 15 mLs of my Artist Cure 
epoxy from Flynn Sisters supply shop. And I'm going to let this spin for a couple of minutes once I apply it. And then I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to hit it and make sure I pop all the bubbles, check it to make sure there's no dust or hair or anything like that on there and let it go for eight to 10 hours. Here is the finished product. This just goes to show you that even a beginner can make a spectacular, beautiful tumbler. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my Lily Bean Crafters community on Facebook. And I look forward to seeing everybody again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.